Good day guys, this is Sharon and today I'm going to show you how to make this versatile drawstring pouch which you can make as wine bottle holder, water bottle holder, or a cosmetic bag. It even has a handle so it's very easy to carry. I hope you stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make it. Don't forget to subscribe! For round one, you're going to make a magic ring and start by chaining three, which counts as one double crochet, and then crochet 11 double crochets more. So the total number of double crochets is 12. Round two, you're going to chain three and then one double crochet in the same stitch. And in every stitch, there must be two double crochets. By the way, you can use any yarn and hook that you like for this project. To end round 2, I'm going to work my last stitch with 2 double crochets and then I'm going to slip stitch on top of the uh, chain 3 which is always the case on this project. So <clears throat> to start my round 3, I'm going to work chain 3 again as my first double crochet and then 2 double crochets on the uh, second stitch. And that's the repeat pattern for this. One double crochet in the next, and then two double crochets in the next. So in every second stitch, I'm going to work two double crochets. So to end the round, you must always slip stitch on top of the uh, chain 3 and then to start round 4, you're gonna chain 3, one double crochet in the next, two double crochets on the third, so one, two, and then one double crochet in each of the next two individual double crochets and on the third stitch you're gonna work your increase which is two double crochets so on every third stitch you're gonna work an increase all right so by this time you know the drill you're going to uh, slip stitch after the end of the round and then also chain three which counts as one double crochet for round five you're going to work an increase on every fourth stitch We are making the bottom of the pouch just in case you find this smaller you can always make an increase on the next round. Alright, so once you get the size of the uh, bottom of your pouch and you find this would fit a bottle or any uh, thing you'd like to put inside so now we're gonna make the uh, 
we're gonna stop increasing and we're just simply going to chain three and work one double crochet in every stitch around Okay, so as usual, we're gonna work our last double crochet and then slip stitch on top of the uh, chain three. And then after that, we're gonna start with the uh, Moroccan towel stitch, which consists of V stitches in the next round. So for round seven, chain three, which counts as one double crochet, chain one for the chain space and then one double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to skip two double crochets and then work another B stitch. So we skip one, two double crochets and in the next we're gonna work one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet in the same stitch. So this is what we're gonna do around. We're gonna work V stitches skipping two stitches in between to end round seven you're gonna work your last V stitch in between those two stitches or if you ended up with uh, three stitches only you can just pretty much work your last bead stitch skipping one stitch in between and then work your slip stitch on top of the chain three now this is the main color of the yarn that I'm using um, in my secondary color or my second color I'm gonna use a different one you may use any kinds I think a variegated yarn like an ombre kind of yarn will be much better because the colors will pop out and uh, this is how I do it so make sure that the working yarn and the big loop is in the front and it should stay on the front so for my next color I'm gonna use a white yarn I'm gonna work a standing double crochet and insert it to the front for my round eight, I'm gonna work my first double crochet in there. You may also chain three if you find it difficult to do standing double crochet. Chain one and then one double crochet in the same stitch. So this round is just very easy. You're just gonna work V stitches on top of every V stitch. So keep on working V stitch until you get back around. So once you get back around, try to work your last V stitch on top of the uh, previous V stitch and then make sure that the working yarn of the main collar and the loop stays in the front and then slip stitch on top of the uh, double crochet or chain 3. You may also add a stitch marker instead of leaving a long loop so that it will be easy to insert the hook. And then I'm working back on my main collar of the yarn by chaining three, which counts as one double crochet, chain one for the chain space. And I'm going back around or into the um, two V stitches and then working my double crochet so this is my first V stitch on 
this round. So make sure that the white yarn does not get in the way and we're making B stitches in between the B stitches of the two previous round which is round 7 and round 8 so I'm making my second B stitch around those previous stitches and then just keep working B stitches until you get back around this will be the repeat pattern for every other round and you're going to alternate with the white yarn To end round 9, you're just going to work a slip stitch on top of the uh, chain 3 as usual and then leave a long loop or add a stitch marker so that it will come undone. We get back to the white collar again by inserting the hook from the front going to the back and then catch the loop or the working loop of the uh, white yarn and we're making the V stitches for round 10 so for round 10 is also the repeat pattern for every second round we're gonna work our V stitches in white yarn so we're going to start by chaining 3 and then chain 1 for the chain space and 1 double crochet in the same stitch or the same space where the first V stitch is. And then simply working a V stitch on top of every V stitch of round nine so you just need to repeat round nine and ten until you get the height that you want for the pouch so I'm on my last V stitch so once you get to your last V stitch of the previous round you're going to work your slip stitch and then we're gonna start with round 11 so round 11 is the repeat of round 9 and we get back to the main color of the yarn and we're basically going to repeat what we did on round 8 which is working V stitches around the previous V stitches so in the same spot where we placed our chain 4 we're going to work the um, double crochet make sure that the white yarn does not get in the way By the way, if you're new to my channel, you can check back and see some of the projects that I have made using this particular stitch. I have made a coin purse, a phone pouch, and a purse with zipper. So what I like about this stitch is that you can play with colors. Uh, you, instead of using white yarn, you can change it on every second row with different colors and 
it will look very attractive. I've done this one before um, with the handbag, so you might want to check them out and see how I did it. Make sure to slip stitch on top of the uh, chain 3 and then in my next clip I'm going to show you how many rounds I made for this pouch. I did about 32 rounds and for my last round of B stitches in white yarn I'm going to fasten off and weave in the ends. For round 39, I'm going to work my last V stitches around and same thing as what I did in round 9, I'm going to work V stitches in the last two previous stitches, the main color and the white yarn together and then I'm going to slip stitch at the end of the round. So I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the uh, third beginning chain to end round 39 and then I'm going to start working one double crochets in every stitch. So this is uh, what I did. I made about 32 rounds in total or maybe even more. So. This is how it looks like at the bottom and then we're going to work the last few rows of the edge and I'm going to make it about 4 inches long <clears throat> so I'm going to start by chaining 3 1, 2, 3 and then 1 double crochet in the middle of the V stitch and in the next double crochet, one double crochet. So that's a pattern. You're just simply going to work one double crochet into every stitch. So at the end of this round, you're still going to slip stitch on top of the uh, chain 3 and also we're gonna need some D-rings or O-rings if you would like to add a strap to this pouch. So in the next round, we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch and we need some D-rings. This is round 41 and uh, to start we're going to chain one, one single crochet in the same stitch and in every stitch. So this is also the round in which you can attach your D-ring. So you can attach it any place you like. If you're attaching two, make sure that they are 
located in opposite side so I'm going to put or insert the D-ring in the middle part probably um, a couple of stitches more and then I'm gonna add the D-ring somewhere here and I used a small D-ring and I crocheted about five single crochets around them to secure the uh, ring and then after that I'm going to work a few more stitches until I get back to the opposite side to add one more D-ring So once you get to the opposite side to where you placed your D-ring so you can insert it right there and then continue working one single crochet around the D-ring until you get back To start round 42, you're just going to chain 3 and then 1 double crochet in every stitch around. So to end round 42, we're going to um, slip stitch on top of the uh, chain 3 and then for round 43, we're going to make holes for our drawstring pouch and to start that, we're going to chain 3 1 double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next so we have three double crochets in each of the next three and then chain two and then skip two stitches and then work one double crochet in each of the next three double crochets so that's a repeat pattern you're going to work three double crochets chain 2, skipping 2 stitches around.
For the final round, you may add a crab stitch for a nice edging. So you can also find a lot of tutorials on how to do this crab stitch. It's just very easy. You're just working a single crochet in every stitch in reverse. We're going to um, do some, make some strings to weave in for our drawstring pouch, and then we're gonna make some tassels.
So this is what it should look like after you finish working the strap and you might want to add bag hooks if you don't like to permanently attach it to the D-ring. And now you have the uh, drawstring pouch with handle and also some tassels and you may use it for many purposes like wine bottle holder, water bottle holder or even a cosmetic bag. So this pouch measures about 6 inches or about 15 and a half centimeters. That's the width for this pouch and for the height it's about 12 inches or 30 and a half centimeters or maybe 30 centimeters. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe.